Kay, uh, Cole, James, thank you for hosting me today. Uh, first is we're open to new steps with not only our allies and partners, but with Iran as well, but only if Iran is willing to make major changes. As President Trump said two weeks ago, he is ready, willing, and able to negotiate a new deal. But the deal is not the objective. Our goal is to protect the American people. Any new agreement will make sure Iran never acquires a nuclear weapon and will deter, deter the regime's malign behavior in a way that the JCPOA never could. Career. Secretary Pompeo graduated first in his class. At you know that list is pretty long? But if you take a look at it, these are 12 very basic requirements. The length of the list is simply a scope of the malign behavior of Iran. We didn't create the list. They did. Uh, from my conversation with European friends, I know that they broadly share these same views of what the Iranian regime must do to gain acceptance in the international community. The Iron Curtain before the fall of the Berlin Wall. We acknowledge Iran's right to defend its people, but not its actions, which jeopardize world citizens. Also, in contrast to the previous administration, we want to include Congress as a partner in this process. We want our efforts to have broad support with the American people and endure beyond the Trump administration. A treaty would be our preferred way to go. Sector career founding and serving as CEO of FAO. Unlike the JCPOA, which was broadly rejected across both sides of the aisle, an agreement that President Trump proposes would surely garner this type of widespread support from our elected leaders and the American people. In the strategy we laid out today, we want the support of our most important allies and partners in the region and around the globe. Elect Benghazi Committee, recognizing the Secretary's we understand that our reimposition of sanctions and the coming pressure campaign on the Iranian regime will pose financial and economic difficulties for a number of our friends. Indeed, it imposes economic challenges to America as well. These are markets our businesses would love to sell into as well. And we want to hear their concerns. But you know, we will hold those doing prohibited business in Iran to account. For two generations, the Iranian regime has exacted a heavy toll on its own people and the world. The hard grip of repression is all that millions of Iranians have ever known. Now is the time for the Supreme Leader and the Iranian regime to summon the courage to do something historically beneficial for its own people, for this ancient and proud nation. As for the United States, our eyes are clear as to the nature of this regime but our ears are open to what may be possible. Unlike the previous administration, we are looking for outcomes that benefit the Iranian people, not just the regime. If anyone, especially the leaders of Iran, doubts the president's sincerity or his vision, let them look at our diplomacy with North Korea. Our willingness to meet with Kim Jong-un underscores the Trump administration's commitment to diplomacy to help solve the greatest challenges even with our staunchest adversaries.